Hey guys, it's Chris at Highline Guitars and it's time for a Luthier's Quick Tip. If you like building or repairing guitars, join the club by tapping the subscribe button down below and together we can take your Luthier skills to a whole new level. Today's quick tip for luthiers comes from a viewer who asked the question, what are the advantages and disadvantages of a string through the body guitar bridge and a top loading guitar bridge? Well, let me explain the pros and cons by first explaining what the difference is between those two type of bridges. With a top loader bridge, the string enters the back of the bridge, comes up through the saddle over the front, and then heads to the tuners. So that's where your, your main contact point is with a top loader bridge. With a string through the body bridge, the string comes up through the body, usually through a string ferrule, comes all the way up through, uh, through the base plate, through the saddle, and then off to the tuners. And so the string is actually running through the body. So what are the advantages and disadvantages? Well, it's really more in theory than anything else. Well, actually in theory and practicality. In theory, a string through bridge would sort of perform the same way as how strings are attached to an acoustic guitar where they run over the top of the bridge and then down a hole and are held in place with a pin. And that pin usually puts the end of the string fairly deep into the body. Supposedly that will improve tone and sustain. And it does in an acoustic because the vibration of the string is vibrating the top of the, of the acoustic guitar and that's what creates the, the sound that you're hearing coming out of the sound hole. And in, a, in a solid body guitar, however, it's highly debatable as to whether or not that really makes any difference. Now, in theory, it would because any vibration of the string inside the body of the guitar is going to ultimately make its way to the pickups. It's going to vibrate the pickups and it's all going to somehow work together to, and contribute to tone. Now with a top loader, the string isn't passing through the body. So theoretically, it's not that that transference of vibration is not occurring. But there, it, it's, it vibrates nonetheless, and that vibration still has to go somewhere. It doesn't just vanish into the air. It's still going to go into the wood. So I would argue that for the most part, and this is based on experience, I've installed a lot of top loader and a lot of string through guitar bridges. I personally can't tell the difference. Uh, it all is basically the same to me. Uh, I can't really sense that a string through has more tone and better sustain than a top loader. You also have to remember that with most Gibson guitars that have a tunematic bridge, you have a stop tail piece, which is in essence a top loading string attachment method. So the question you have to ask yourself is do Les Pauls and SGs suffer from a lack of tone or a sustain as a result? I think the answer to that is absolutely not. So if you want to use a top loader bridge, which will save you a great deal of time and maybe a little bit of money, go for it. I don't think you're going to notice that much difference. And the only, um, the only other difference that, you, that is worth mentioning would be the fact that if you're selling guitars, some folks will have a uh, perceived loss of value with a top loader bridge. They are going to want the string through the body because of the, the, the potential for it to have better tone and sustain. Even though I know for a fact, well I shouldn't say for a fact, but I'm pretty confident it doesn't really make a difference. So that's this week's Luthier Quick Tip. Take care and we'll see you soon.